what up people the very last game to the around the league series is finally here the long-awaited Washington Wizards let's go baby let's get it never played with them at all not once ever I ain't played with the Wizards since they had Gilbert Arenas that's how long it's been since I played with the Wizards and that was on NBA Live 10 Let's go. I get the thunder. Pick your team, man. Let's go. Be with it. Let's get it. Jazz, okay. Give you too bad of a matchup. Weeping? That's what you're going to be doing after this beatdown will give you. You're going to be weeping. For this sorry ass lineup I got. Oh. How's it is John Wall with 85? Come on, Bradley Beal. Did you do some Trevor Reason? You knock out some jump shots and then you grab some boards and get some dunks, baby. Come on, go to you. Martell Webster, I need you to come off the bench some threes. I know you can shoot. Let's go. I feel kind. Of, I feel confident. His last win, baby. I feel confident. Come on, man. Press start. Press start to play. All right, come on, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. Like to welcome you to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg, Steve Curry, and Coach Okay, now I want to do. The road trip ends for the Jazz here as they leave for Utah right after the game. Well, they're hot right now, guys. I mean, they've been on a, a big-time roll. And coming into this game, I, I would say go, this baby. is probably the best basketball that they've Let's played go. this year. That's what their recent games would indicate, Steve. I mean, they've been basically invincible. It's really been a showcase of just how dominant this team can be when they're clicking okay. on all cylinders. He's patient, probably wanting to play. Very patient. Four and five, Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson. Boyle is out there with Boyle. Good day. And it's Hayward. Good shot. And for the Whispers, Riza and Nene make up the two forward spots. Wall and Beal, they're the back. And it's Okafor in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's Wall. Maurice Williams, letting it go from three. And it's going to be out of bounds. Right. The Jazz Final team. Hello. Check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hello. I ain't talking to you, dude. Corbin for a moment. He said that one of the challenges they're very conscious of in this matchup is scoring despite the shot clock. This shot. He said, you know jumpers like to jump. Oh. I'm still talking. Get him up in the air, and that should allow us to get to the line or create easier looks inside. Kevin, we'll see how it works. Hey, Doris, thanks. Uh, Steve Clark, uh, how do you best work? Let's go, Nate. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm a sub subscriber. Two stagnant offenses. Love your video. Oh, wow. The offense with the ball and player movement. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And the other part of that, too, to me, Steve, is you've got to be ready to take good shots whenever they come available. Shot clock at six. The dish to Jefferson. He goes up. Good shot. Good. Great play by Williams. Love your video. Jefferson's got his first two points. Wall attacking. Defense. And there's a ball on Gordon Hayward. That's his first foul. Well, I love him to be there going up, so come on, let's get it. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Beal. Okafor kicks the wall. 
Back to Okafor. The Wizards working the ball around now. He dishes at the wall. He feeds it to Ariza. Good. Let's go. Ariza's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, he wasn't going to miss that. I mean, they were way too late to get to him out there. Outside Williams. Foy. Offensive rebound. Back to Williams. Here's the three. Let's go. Shot misses. So for the Jazz, their last game lost to the Grizzlies. Now here's Beal. Defense right on him. Jefferson with the double team. Okafor dishes the wall. Fires the three. Beal. Feeds to Nene. Outside wall. And unable wow. to get the go-ahead bucket. Down wall. Jazz have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Randy Foy is on the way. Ball with the steal. And Nene Let's go, with the stuff. Costly mistake at the other end to set up that fast break. That's what you want to do after the tournament. Push the ball up the floor and strike quickly. They double him with the name. Let's go, baby. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Watch knocked away. Here's the <laughs> And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. As the playoffs here, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look at Miami. So timeout call. Right, I'm, here. I'm struggling right now with Wiz. I'm really struggling. It's all right, though. To the Jazz. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And the Jazz with some changes. Passes it to Temple for three. I know, I know. Snatched up. Shoot out here, man. With the lead pass. Oh, like shit. Stolen by Cantor. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. And Derek Favors. Oh, that's good. Cool. Tearing that roof down with that one. Yeah, and really a dunk contest dunk that time. Wow. Mm. Yeah, unreal. What a dunk. Wow. And now it's Burks running. He can go up. Oh, oh, man. man, that was unreal. Hard to up. Now that is just simply paint, pure power. But can't finish. A nasty throwdown right there. I'm telling you, Steve, this building is an all. Is he blessed with amazing athleticism or what? That's just incredible. Look at the vast of price. And one, let's go. And he rises up and throws it down. How about this action? We better tie the ball this point before it blows off. A lot of passion in this building now, you're right. Yeah, there's no way they keep trading dunks like this. The defense has to improve. Looking at who's out there now. Let's jump ball, let's go. Checked in for Webster. And John Wall subbed in for Bryce. Beals checked in for Garrett Temple. I forgot some of John Wall. What do do? Here's Tinsley. He kicks it to Burks. Ah, uh, this shot. Uh, one for three. Allen. That one falls off Tinsley's feet. For three. Burks has got five points so far. Wall attacking. No reason. That's good. Let's go. And so well with the assist. And it's six points for a reason. Unbelievable. Three pointers for both sides. Oh, come on. <laughs> I think it's a matter of them just trying to top each other. And Wall kicks the Seraphim. Where did they go? And he trains it. Let's go. That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. And that I don't want to force one mislip under the basket, so I just pass back out for a jump shot. Thank you. Thank you. We'll get I got to get one count. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Wizards? And I think they built this lead mainly because of their work on the glass. They really dominated the rebounding totals. And it takes an effort from all five guys to get a rebounding advantage like that. Come on now. I'm doing them easy baskets when I'm letting them struggle now. AJ Price is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then it's Kevin Serafin. Then there's Trevor Book, and it's Webster in at the threesome. That's the group start the second quarter for the Wizards. I see what they got in the post. Uh, he in the damn zones. 
Emeka Okafor oh, has checked in for Kevin Serafin. Nene comes in for Trevor Booker. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Trevor Ariza. Temple dishes to Webster. Price. Nene, the screen. Just four to shoot. Wizards need to get a shot off here. I could do. There's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. <laughs> And now we've got his hands on. That post of Kevin gonna work. Gonna work around that post, you know, that zone D. This is all good though. Hey Clark, let's talk about that defense. I mean, number one in the league field goal percentage. You talked about it. They're just smothered. They really get after you. They try to attack you. They close out. They rotate well, and they're constantly covering up for one another. Yeah, hold that ball there, buddy. You get that every time. So hold that ball. So it's Utah now. Now Tinsley. That's going to be out of bounds. Retain possession. So for the Wizards. Leo goes in for Garrett Temple. And John Wall subbed in for Price. Here's Cantor. Right now averaging seven points a game. And there's the feed to Burks. Dishes it to Hayward. From outside, off the mark. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off the loss to the Bulls. Up. Let's go, baby. From Beal on the assist by Ariza. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. Wow, let's go. The pass to Wall picks it out to Ariza, and there's the pass to Seraphim Booker. And there's that's cold, baby. By Booker. And it's a I kind of like the Wizards. I underestimate the Wizards. People admire about him is that he's able to drop the three ball seemingly effortlessly. It's almost like second nature to him. Yeah, it's not good. Certainly not something he thinks about. I love the stroke on his shot from long I kind of underestimated the Wizards. You certainly know something about I underestimated his team. Fingertips to nylon. Smooth sail. And the Jazz making a change here. Williams is checked in. Find the shoot. Oh, good lay. Williams has got eight points. Good lay. He's always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop, very skilled finisher. Hey, that ain't going walls us. Nene comes in for Trevor Booker. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Western Conference standings. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. Put the thing right in front of the screen. I can see what's going on. Like that. One is too many. Oh, yeah. No, certainly you're right. You know, that's making it way too easy for sure. Yeah, major breakdown. Oh. They've got to tighten things up here. Now here's Williams. Eight points for him. Gathers. Gets the bucket. That was bullshit. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks there. Oh! Out there now for the Are you serious? Now Jefferson has checked in for Ennis Cantor. Millsap comes in for Marvin Williams. And it's Foy in for Alec Burks. Got a piece of it. Let's go, Wall. With the steal. Let's go, Wall. From Valley, no kill line. Let's go, baby. Instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. Now here's Williams. 11 points in the game. Good there shot. He goes. Come. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Wall attacking. Ariza outside. Back to Wall. Pass to Beal. Kicks it to Okafor. The Wizards working the ball around now. Six to shoot. And Wall kicks to Beal. Come on now. Back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Williams against Wall. Williams in the post. There's the dish to four. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Mm. Williams has got three assists now in this one. 
Now he's hit a pair of three balls in this quarter, so he's starting to find his range. Wall dishes to Okafor. Here's Nene in for the double. Let's go, baby. Two hands for safety, one hand if you want major elevation. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. You know you can get up higher with one hand. Did you know that? I did not know that. It really is true. I mean, you can extend better with one. Well, whatever he did, whatever, whatever it was, it definitely worked. But here's Wall. Pushes up. Blocked. He passes to Beal. From outside the arc. Oh, come on. Oh, Jefferson's got six rebounds now in the game. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the start of the second half. Neither side yeah. jumping yeah. ahead through the first two quarters. Maurice Williams having a dominant impact in this game. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the four. So on the four for Utah. At the forward spots, Gordon Hayward and Paul Milson. Paul Williams up there at four. Good and defense. Jefferson in at the center, filling out the middle. I good dude, good dude. Well, that's exactly what these guys have done this season. Check out the I guess I'm going wall out the screen. Number five, Al Jefferson. You know, that's as scary a collection of big men as you'd want to see. Game planning for any of them is a challenge because you know how much really? defensive attention you're going to have to devote to them. Yeah, it's almost like you got to pick your poison. Either you leave other areas of the floor open and put your good good. bodies down low, or you risk one of these guys running wild. Now, here's Ariza. He's got eight. It's stolen by Jefferson. Hayward passes to four. And stolen by Ariza. Into Nene. And that basket is Let's go, baby. Attending the official call. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Well, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just getting John Wall got some nice hands. Here's Williams. From down in the low post, it goes. Williams has got 13 points. John Wall is different. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the numbers and where he ranks among the league leaders. 14th in rebound. And he's been quite an offensive threat, averaging points to put him in the top 20. And there you go, Wall. Let's you know, go. Touch on that rebounding average again, Steve. I mean, he's a gritty player in the paint. Sandpaper-like. I mean, just okay. makes it tough on other people. They come out to a lot here. Ask of him in that area. You know, things get very Let's easy go. for you when you're faster than everybody else on the court, and that's what John Wall has going for him. Speed, quickness, the ability to break down defenses, and it doesn't matter who's guarding him, he's going to get into the paint. And Steve, I think he's going to continue to get better at that, too. Once you have to jump out on him, he'll just go around you and finish at the hoop. Now watch four. He welcomes contact when he drives, and I like the way he's able to finish. And Washington has possession after the basket by Utah. He dishes it to Okafor. Here's Nene, and it's sent back by Jefferson. against Williams. He feeds it to four. For the lead. They get it back. Jefferson kicks to four. Second shot opportunity. Shot's good. <laughs> Foy's got four this morning. Washington trailing. Outside, one. Feeds it to be at the wall. Makes the lead pass. Kicks it out to Ariza. Passes to Okafor. He kicks it to be. Come on, be in the hit them shit, the man. With another miss. Jazz have gone three or five to start the second half, developing an ice game. Out of bounds, the Wizards will take it the other way. So it's both teams. Alright, come on, we gotta, we gotta get some buckets. We gotta get a bucket. Wizards have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming on the lock at the break. Price dishes to Booker. Temple. The feed to Webster. 
There you go, Montel Ruff. Let's go, baby. Come on now. Turn it up. Come on, all these stupid ass passes, Charles. Man, what in the world? Inside the favorites. This is his first chance at the line tonight. I don't like the Wizards anymore. I don't like the Wizards anymore. Jefferson comes in for Ennis Kent. And Mo Williams subbed in for Jamal Tent. Here's Temple. Right now averaging five points a Let's go, baby. He's short for the center position, but he makes up for it with tremendous leaping ability. Good team. Rebound, Washington. 55 seconds left to play in the third. Price gets to Temple. Back to Price. Wizards passing it around. Webster can't get the bucket. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to... That's to be killing me, baby. You're killing me. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, then you're in big trouble. Here's Temple after the basket by Utah. From past the arc. Was that a stupid shot or what? Up. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Webster can't get the bucket. Martel Webster, you're Jazz killing me, man. Three. Dishes to Williams. And the basket good. Williams is killing me. Four points My bench is killing me, literally. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. The pass to Book. It's stolen by Jefferson. Hits it off. No luck. I don't like the Wizards anymore. I like them at first. I don't like them anymore. Damn it, I don't like them anymore. I already know you John Wall like that. That's cool. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action. All fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Wizards. Beal and Ariza are out on the wing. Rene and Okafor are together up front. And it's Wall in at the point guard. Okafor, the pass to Ariza. Here's Beal. Ariza against Milsen. Okafor. You are garbage as hell, Okafor. But they still come up empty. Kicks to four. Beal with the steal. Kicks it out to Ariza. Over four. And there's Ariza. That's good on the assist from Beal. And that's now ten points for Ariza. Now they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. And that's a foul. Call on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. Come on now. We need to stop. Al Jefferson's checked in for Ennis Cantor. Favors comes in for Paul Milson. And Mo That's Williams crazy. Subbed in for Jamal Timson. Why are we throwing it down court? Damn. Come on, open threes like that one. And that has to be disconcerting and frustrating to their coach. Well, they should know better. I mean, they read the scouting report. You can't leave these guys wide open on the perimeter. And stolen by Favors. Let's it go with a three. That is good. Fuck me. And it's a nine-point jazz lead. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do when a team gets this hot from three-point land. All you can really do is hope that they cool off. I mean, the way it's what the in the second half here, I don't see any sign of that happening. The dish to Hayward. Oh, come on, fuck the ball, man. Fuck that, man. Oh, shit. Gives him the lead pass. That's good. Now the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this making shots. And that's what they've done. I can't do shit. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Yes, Kevin. Randy Whitman had some words for his team over the break. No surprise, really. The turnover situation was the focus. He told them, listen, we're giving it away, guys. We've got to protect the ball, play within ourselves, and get quality shots. 
Reggie and the Jazz call time here. Jazz leading by nine. Oh, ball, man. Fuck this bullshit. He passes to four. Back to Williams. He dishes it to Hayward. Outside Williams. He feeds it to four. Williams. Come on, steal. Let's go. All with the steal. Get the fuck out the way. Oh, yeah, I only have to all the back of my damn teammates foot. How about that elevation, man? Some major hops and vertical there. That's your point. Oh, look out. Let's go, man. Well, I tell you what, how about that guy? This fella can rock the rim big time. That is just brute force, Steve. Yeah, he's the last guy you want to see coming down the lane with a head of steam. A reason no one. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. And here's Wall. Three-pointer. And there's a reason that's good on the assist by Wall. Come on, man. Wall's got three assists tonight. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Williams kicks to four. Williams. Beal on the double team. Williams dishes to four. Shot clock at five. Back to Williams. Feeds it to four. There's the three. Rebound, Washington. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. All pass to Nanette. Ariza, right side. The three. Ariza with another miss. And it's a I need you to make a foul. fucking shot. That'll be his make it, man. Damn. Paul Millsap's checked in for Derek Favors. They double hit with Walt. Here's Foy. Another miss by Utah. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. Oh, bullshit. He is going ice cold here. No good. Now the Wizards take it the other way. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. Ariza kicks to Nene. Powers down the top. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you got to rise and levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, levitate. And glide. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Derek Favors checked in for the Jams. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're down by eight. 32 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? Well, it's not looking good, but you want to get a quick shot, a quick foul, and who knows? You never know what's going to happen. A slight chance that a bucket and a quick foul could get them the ball back. Andy Foy, he's checked in for Derek Favors. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. So the game we're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot two and he ends up making the second and that will put them up by nine he would have liked them all to go but that should still be enough to end this thing just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. here's Beal it's good from one range 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter and now we've got the intentional foul he drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's an eight-point game. Washington calls timeout. They trail by eight. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Well, never say never, I guess. They just have no quit in And I think you have to respect that attitude and approach. I know most teams would have called it a game already. They get the rebound. And the shot is good. Damn, Excellent tough job one. Carving out space under the glass to make that put back possible. And so they found. I don't need no breaks. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven. Big game, see Nick. Good game, man. Second one is good. We both love your video. Point game. 
This is there. <laughs> and so it's Utah with the win. They pulled off this Damn, bullshit, man. Damn. 16.